Am I the A for telling my mom's family I don't owe her because she had gender disappointment? My mom never wanted a boy. She wanted girls. Apparently, her dream was four girls. But she had me, 16 male, first. I have seen photos and videos of the day I was born. She cried hysterically when they told her I was a boy. Then she refused to hold me. After we were cleaned up, she cried about not using the name she had chosen and said she didn't know how to move on from it. All this was caught on camera. Eventually, my paternal grandma took me, and she was the person to hold me in photos and videos taken during the rest of our hospital stay. My paternal grandma was my sole parent figure for the first eight years of my life. She took care of me, and I spent so much time at her house. Sometimes I was there for weeks. Then she had a brain bleed and died. So I was left with a mom who wanted girls and not a boy and a dad who wanted to be a provider and nothing more. My mom had my sister Lily two years after me, so mom got her girl. And Lily got all of her attention, while I got grandma until I was eight. And then nobody. My mom and Lily are super close, and my mom adores Lily. Lily got the biggest bedroom, she gets gifts, she gets all her favorite snacks, she gets to do all the extracurricular activities she could ever want. And her birthdays are huge parties with huge gifts. Christmas, she gets a minimum of 25 gifts from mom alone. My mom typically gives me one, never anything I'd like or want, but you know, thought that counts, which is zero. My mom's family don't act too interested in making up for my lack of personal love. And in the last couple of years, mom and I have argued more, and I give her a hard time. Dad's never around to give him one. But mom, if she wants to ignore me, then she can hear how crappy it is. And if she wants to treat my sister like a perfect angel, then she can hear about it. Mom has mentioned how I ruined her dream of four daughters. We were at my mom's parents' house Friday, and mom gushed about Lily doing well on a project, and the scooter she got Lily to help her get around more easily. She got Lily a custom helmet and a personalized lock for her scooter. She couldn't stop talking about it. And I told her she really does love to shower her favorite with gifts and praise. My mom's family told me I should take it easier on her and said I should understand we have some little troubles because of mom's gender disappointment. I told them I don't owe her crap because of her gender disappointment and that I didn't ask to be born to a woman who only wanted daughters. They told me I lacked adult understanding and compassion. Am I the A? Now for the top comments. Not the A. Your mom is toxic and extremely shallow. So many out there are desperate for a healthy baby, regardless of gender. She's blessed with just that and rejects it. I'm so sorry your mom is like that and for the loss of your grandmother. The good news is you're almost an adult. My advice is to focus on yourself and work hard so you can get out of there. Then you can choose when you see her and in what capacity. Side note, I really hate the concept of gender disappointment and feel it's becoming more obvious with these ugly, trendy gender reveals. Nobody needs to see their parents bratting because they're not what they expected. People need to grow the F up and realize what's important in life. Not the A. Your mother needs to grow up. You are in no way responsible for mitigating her disappointment that the fantasy she created in her head, long before you even existed, didn't materialize. Her inability to cope with reality should never have been your problem. It is grotesque 
to expect a child, which you are at 16, to be understanding of a mom's immaturity. Continue to call out your mom's behavior. Speak up for yourself and go no contact with her and anyone else defending her BS as soon as it is legally and financially possible. Not the A. That's not gender disappointment. That's some disgusting and cruel neglect on your mother's part. I have to use quotation marks because no real mother worth her salt would ever do such a thing. I always wanted to have boys growing up because I was a huge tomboy as a child. And now I'm the mother of two girls. I only felt slight disappointment when I found out my oldest was a girl. From the moment she was born, I had this entire new vision of what life would be like sharing it with a daughter and fell in love with being a girl mom. That's the way it should be. I loved the experience with my oldest so much that I was just as happy to get my second daughter. If I'm ever blessed to have a son, I know I love him just as much. That's what parenting should be. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this story, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment.